Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing some Risk of Rain 2 and I do think, sadly, this is probably going to be the last episode of Risk of Rain. For those of you wondering, you may have seen that we missed last week's episode. It was unfortunate, I just had other things that I was that I had going on and I didn't have time to do it unfortunately. Um, but we will be doing... Ooh, I might, I might just do a bit of a spicy. We'll go Monsoon, choose your item. Um, monsters drop and monsters doubled. We'll just pick them out. I like them. Uh, let's go with Flurry. We'll go with the, the normal blink and that. Yeah, that's. I, I'm happy with that. And we'll just see how this goes, shall we? This is a nice little run for us. Um, we do have a new character coming out relatively soon. Again, as I said with all of the games on Roguelike Roulette, for those of you wondering, when one leaves Roguelike Roulette, it's never gone forever. So don't ever worry that if your favorite game on Roguelike Roulette goes, don't worry that you're never going to see it on the channel again. There's actually a pretty high likelihood that it'll make its way back around, especially as new updates come out. Um, it could definitely be something that we uh, look into and see come around again. Ooh, there's a nice amount of enemies. Hopefully we get a spawn here. So first things first, we want critical uh, strikes. We want our uh, lens makers. Mainly because, as you guys know, this flurry um, does double the amount of shots on a crit, uh, which just like triples the damage it deals because it, it's also dealing double damage from the critical itself. So we really want to be uh, making sure we make the most of that. Of course, we need to be careful not to die first. Which is, uh, not going great so far. Okay, there's our first lens makers. As we get a few more of those, things should really start to hot up for us here. But yeah, I've been, I've, I've really enjoyed the, uh, the Risk of Rain series thus far. It's been very fun. But it's just kind of, it's ran its course, so to say. We've, we've kind of seen the permutations that we want to see. We've, we've played with a lot of stuff. That was a really good crit, that was. Uh, we've played with all the things we want to play with, really. I know we still have some artifacts to unlock, but that can be something that we do next time when we come around to Risk of Rain. And the good thing about Risk of Rain as well is it's a perfect game to stream. So it'll always be a game that I that I sort of think to stream. Move my fan out of the way slightly. Yeah, it's always going to be a game that I think to stream a little bit because I think it really fits into... Um, streaming content i think people will enjoy that a lot or at least i hope so please do let me know again though if you do have more um suggestions for roguelike roulette in the future uh please do let me know there's a few games that i've got on my list at the moment some older some newer the, the main new one that i'm thinking of is neon abyss everyone seems to be playing neon abyss at the minute and it seems pretty good so it seems like a game that we might end up getting uh getting in the roster for roguelike roulette Allows us to play something a little new, and uh, yeah, I'll see what you guys think of that. Uh, but we've got a few others as well, like Crypt of the Necrodancer, Spelunky, things like that, some of the older games. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Getting ourselves a shrine in the mountain there is definitely going to help out. Sadly, we've only got one item drop so far, which is pretty abysmal. Really hoping for at least three before the boss, but we don't know if we're going to get that, really. Don't know if we're going to get that. Drops seem to be slow right now. First stage is always quite slow for drops, so I'm not too bothered. And we are going to get an extra drop for my boss as well, so we can at least be happy with that. There's an item. We've got some elites here as well. Okay. Lens makers. We want to be getting 10 lens makers. Once we get to 10 lens makers, we are good to go. Right, we'll do our boss now. That's a lot of stone titans. We might die here. Can I not get away? Can I not get away? I thought I could get away there. Obviously not. Oh yeah, we might die here. I didn't realize quite how bad of a situation we were in. We might want to uh, heal up and step back a little bit here. I always forget they can do that fist from like anywhere as well. 
This is the first time we've seen a, a normal stun dude here. Surprising. More lens makers going. Get out of the way of the big stone fists coming our way. Right, we're going to have to sort of move on here because our health is not good. Right, it's going to be a difficult floor. We're going to pay a lot of attention to what the hell's going on around us. Should be relatively okay as long as we play this safe. Don't be too stupid. Move out the way when we need to. A lot of enemies following us. We've got some more lens makers here. We're good. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Right, we should be okay now. Oh my god. This has been a hell of a one. Uh, we've got a lot of items though towards the end here. Okay, they're slowly but surely making out, making their way around here. And there's two of them down here. He hit me with that thing. I think... Oh my god. The amount of crits we're doing is great, but I'm so scared. I think we got one of them down. I'm not 100% sure. Still got one da dude down there. That's the main thing we need to watch out for. That beam. That beam will destroy us. Got another item down there. Oh my god, this is so difficult. What have I done to myself? I think we got another item there. Wow. More lens makers. Fuel the fire. Okay. We got two green items down there. What do we want from green items? We want fire rate, don't we? We want the berserker thing. My god, these little... Cool. Wow, so many items. Okay. I underestimated the amount of items we were going to get here. By a whole hell of a lot. We got a lot. We got a lot. Coming out of this with... What is going to be 10 lens makers, I think. We're doing a lot of crits now. Okay, we got them. Oh my god, there's so many items. This is insane. Okay, next up we need healing. The next green item we get, we take healing. Good. Right, now I'm going to get the hell out of there again. Oh, Monsoon is crazy. Okay, we got all the bosses. Good, good. Monsoon is crazy. I actually can't believe the amount of items we got towards the end there. We have enough for, for uh, permanent crits now. That's good. Which makes Flurry just amazing. Um, I'm wondering what we can take here. Sticky Bomb could be fun. We're hitting so many shots that I think that would work.
Another item. Wow. Okay, we did get frozen there. That's fine. We can sustain. Another item. This is amazing. Oh my god, there's more. I'm just gonna get a ton of sticky bombs. Fun. We need to go get those green items down there as well. Sticky bomb. Is that another item up there? No, it's a Luna coin. Yeah. Double leeching seed sounds like the way to get our sustain back. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. You just absolutely annihilate everything and stick them with a ton of sticky bombs as well. Of course, there's another item up there. Um, gonna go with ukulele this time. Another item. Wow. Let's take another ukulele. Then we'll go for crit steel next. Okay, so that stage was crazy. That was really crazy. That was fun, though. <laughs> Look how many items we got. A one floor, that's absolutely insane. I mean, we're on some medium difficulty. Almost hard already. It's kind of ridiculous. Get him. Get them. Enemies are spawning in quick as well, which is nice. Ukulele's doing a great job for us here. Gives us a bit of AoE. A bunch of jellyfish back here that are going to be easy. Yep. You might be an elite, but you're still dead. Ooh, we got another shrine in the mountain there, which I'm very scared of, but I will take. Uh, what, what we're going to take here. Um, this, I think. For a little bit of sustain in that regard. That's another shrine in the mountain. I mean, I'll take it. I'm up for a challenge. Oh my god, the noise we fire so fast. It makes such a crazy noise. It's like... Brr, brr, brr. Every time. What are you doing down there, buddy? Oopsie. I used my Q ability completely by accident then. Bit dumb. It's okay, though. Yeah, let's get a few of these going. Just so we, ha we have some good sustain. I'm able to build up that shield relatively quickly and easily. We haven't found our teleporter yet. Not even seen any of the little sparkles. Uh, here they are. Is that no? Is that sparkles? No, that's just like some spots on the tree. Mm, I think I know where it is. Then it'll be in a really awkward spot, like back here. I think uh, out of white items next, we probably need movement speed, things like that. Okay, yeah, I think it's down here. Oh, maybe not. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see anything down here. Hmm. Where is it? Need to kill some of them guys. I love the fact on this game that you can get like every hit of crit. What did I say I was gonna get a moment ago? Like literally just a moment ago, movement speed. Yes. Movement speed is very important for us now. Being able to get around easily. Get out of the way, danger. Here we are. Here's the teleporter. Somewhere around here. Here it is. 
Okay, as soon as our um, active items are a bit more ready, we'll go for this. We are going to need that active item. I would like to get another ukulele before we start as well, but it's obviously not guaranteed. We might be able to get a few more items, but it's not guaranteed that we'll get a green. Whoa, that blast is crazy. It's alright though, we good. I hear you. Yeah, let's go for it. That's a lot of beetle queens. I did not mean to dive into them all. I'll tell you that for sure. Wow, that did... Okay, hello. That did a lot more damage than I was expecting. But there is um, Wandering Vagrants, which are actually way harder than the Beetle Queens that spawned. Surprisingly enough. Um, more ukuleles. I was going to take the healing, but now that we've got the uh, turtle shields going, I don't actually think we need them as much. Right. Should be fine to get these guys here. I think I killed him before he managed to blast. Yeah, I did. Good. Okay, and here's where the, all the items start coming in again. Got him. He blew up. Active item there. Right, what, what are we wanting now? Um... I don't actually know. <laughs> extra boss damage could be good. Let's go for a ton of extra boss damage. And then probably go for like guillotines and stuff soon as well. Um, This is difficult. I think we won. Okay, we'll be fine. Let's kill all these first before we do any of this business. Um, I need to think about what I want. I think we take at least one he crit's heal. Just because it makes sense. Then take another ukulele. Take... Take a bandolier or two. So we can refresh our skills a little often. And still going for movement speed here because I love it. I think we're good to go. Nice. I didn't even realise as well, on, on this mode you rank up a lot quicker because you're getting so much XP from all your money. You never spend any of it. That's always nice. Yeah, now we've got good movement speed here. We can kind of fly around at the speed of sound. Right, first call. Let's find a teleporter. Which I don't see yet. Nice, he's dead. Y'all gone. We can't have to search everywhere here because it's really hard to see the little bits from, like, distance. I don't think it's over there. I think it's going to be up on that, that stone over there. The ukulele's doing a great job here. A great job of just keeping everything in line. Um... Take another one of these just for even more protection. And then I don't know what we're going to take for white items next. That was almost a mistake. Right. Let's run over here. It's going to be like down behind this bit or something, isn't it?
going. Let's check up here real quick. No, it's not up there. Yeah, it's down here. Here it is. And it doesn't, this doesn't seem like we have any shrine in the mountains. For deer. Sadly enough. Oh my god, I love how slow fire it starts off and then how crazy it gets. This one we're just going to take now because why not? No! The stupid game! A tiny little thing got in the way. Wow, that one went that one went down fast. The sticky bombs really do good work. Nice. Yeah, the sticky bombs do great work against those guys. Now guillotine. Kill those elites a little faster. Yeah, I fired off my like big big beam, a big beam ball thing, and it just like completely failed because it hit an enemy. Um What now do you reckon? Still gonna go with this, I think. The boss damage is pretty spicy. Get a bit of damage reduction, we're already sprinting. Items over there. Didn't even know about that one. Um, so it's getting really hard to pick what we want. Still think this is good. We have to kill the bosses with ease. It's always nice. They had a flat 25% uh, boss damage with it, with every succession. So now we've got 125% extra boss damage. Very very good. This is all the dude. Hello there. More boss damage. Probably getting to the point where it's a bit too much now, but... Oh well. I knew this was going to be a powerful run. And for this one, we will take... Crowbat's not very good for us right now. Um, got a ton of sticky bombs. Let's go for some bleed. We we're hitting things enough to stack up some good bleed. That could be fun. And away we go. So I think it sounds like we've got a magma worm. No, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, that is a magma one. I don't think boss damage actually affects these guys because they're not technically the boss. Alright, we should be okay here. Magma worm's almost gone. Magma worm's gone. Right, let's go and destroy all the uh, all the eggs that we can. Luckily, as um, as this character is really easy to destroy them because you do auto lock onto them, so you just run around holding it. I'm pretty sure the first few times I fought it, I had no idea how to activate it properly, and I just kept running around and accidentally shooting all the eggs. Here's some more. Nope, that's just the mushrooms. They're kind of difficult to find. They can be in a lot of weird places. Didn't have too much trouble though. A lot of bears just spawned, but luckily we shall prevail. Okay, lots of try tips right now. Getting just a few of them going. Yeah, I think there's one spawn down here for them as well. Although I'm not going to get too involved with the salamander guy. They annoy me. And I hate them. 
Let's just sprint away. I don't even know what I shot at there, but it's dead now. I think. Distant whirling. Okay, we got like two more eggs before it spawns, I think. Last two will probably be up here. Probably a few that I missed. Yeah, there's one look. Ah, there we go. We got it. Yeah, we shouldn't take too long to kill these guys. We've got plenty of boss damage. And these, these guys have red health, so they do count as bosses. And we've got plenty of damage to kill things around as well. Just wondering what, what legendary we take. Take more rose bucklers. Yeah, I wonder what's going to be the best legendary for us. My god, we're getting so many white items. Kind of insane. Just taking so many tri tips right now because I don't know, they work. Yeah, what legendary do we take? Meat hook could be fun. Uh, let's go with the shattering hammer though. I like the shattering hammer. Makes enemies easier to kill. God damn it, just let me on top of this thing. Stop being harassed, please. Oh my god. The jellyfish are non stop. Let me have a minute of peace. A minute of peace, game. I just want to get my items. There was a green item here. Oh, there you go. It fell off. Um, probably going to go for that again. I like Bandolier a lot. And now we're going to change it up. Let's go for Teddy Bear. We, we do not need attack speed at all. I was going to go for attack speed, but we just don't need it. Right, our boss was up top, wasn't it? We can go for that now. We could do with like a hoopoo feather or something, actually. Thinking of it, like having those extra jumps is always nice. Get over a few bits and bobs. Oh, did we take a shrine to the mountain? Apparently we did. Didn't even know. That's a lot of magma worms. I fired that at the perfect time. Wow. That was the most perfectly timed shot of one of those I've ever done. It just killed all of them as soon as they jumped up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it should be good. We'll take the blue feathers next time though. There you go, there's one. There's a feather for us. You might be wondering why I'm not taking any of the, like, trigger explosions. Because they get super, super wacky if you take too many of those. They get really crazy. Oh, really? We've got items dropping all over the place. Okay, that one didn't fall too far. I thought that fell a lot further than it did. Take another hoopoo feather. I just like the ability to dive around a little bit easier. Makes our life a little easier. But this has become a rather crazy run, hasn't it? A rather crazy run. I heard an item drop somewhere. Who knows where, but I did hear one. There it is. That's the problem, finding them when you've got this many enemies. Okay, we've got a lot of chance to reduce damage now with eight teddy bears. 
<gasps> Another item. Don't leave that. Let's go. Bet there was a bunch of items. Yep, there's a green one right there. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Damn it. <laughs> we were so close. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty much a rush to escape this floor, because this floor is a hellscape, which I hate. I think this floor is really cool, but it's really hard. We're just going to be looking for the boss fight, kind of beelining it to it. Ah, oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Hey dudes, how you doing? I think I got them. Yeah, I got most of them. The hammers are doing a great job as well, reducing their armor. These little dudes can kill me in one hit. I've got to be really careful about those. Hey yo! No, no, no! I thought I missed it then. Not quite. Not quite. Aha, what's one of those rooms you can't get me now? Okay, so I've made a little mistake here. I should have really kept my uh, active item for this situation right here. Deep, re deep regret within me. We can kill these things really quick now though. Okay, we're up to 10 teddy bears. I think te 10 teddy bears is a 60% chance. Something like that. It's a high chance, I know that for a fact. Mushroom boys, please stop. Wow, okay, this is getting crazy. I mean, it's been getting crazy for a while, but this is getting even crazier. Throw that at them. Yeah, one of those little blobs that they fire out just does so much damage to us. We've got to be really careful. Uh, now let's go for fire rate. We don't need it, but let's just go for it anyways. Right. Do this. Magma M again. That's not too bad. Got to be careful to jump directly on us. Make sure we're, we're always attacking things as well. While they're underground, we're not gaining shields and stuff, which is problematic. I think we did it. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, so many green items. Hey, everyone. How y'all doing? We got a few items here today. At this point, I'm kind of at the point where I'm just taking stuff just to take it. I don't even need items anymore. Let's start doing the whole fuel cell thing. Take a bunch of fuel cells to get our active item pool down, way down. It's like a flat amount that it takes off, isn't it? So you can get some really crazy cooldowns with this. More teddy bears. I mean, it, we've kind of reached diminishing returns with the teddy bears now, but we might as well. What was I taking again? I can't remember. Uh, fuel cells. I did it, but not five seconds ago. What's a white item that we really need? I'm not thinking of. Or that could be really good. Um, stuns could be good. Go for a few stuns, shall we? Ow. Can you, like, disappear so I can... Yeah, there you go. Okay, this should help out a lot. I think we've pretty much cleared out the area of items now. We can head off. 
gonna kill you before we go, just because. Yes. Got him. Okay, we're onto the we're onto our loop. We're onto our loop. Okay, we've got Malachi enemies now. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even having that. I'm just gonna kill him straight away. No Malachi for me. Another one over here. Got him. Those enemies need to go pretty much straight away. We've got a bunch of crabs everywhere as well now. There you go. There's a Malachite. has gone again. We're just taking tons of fuel cells now. I'm going to take some more turtle shells, I think. Even though we've got, like, enough. I want more. Turtle brooches. Keep on broaching. And then let's go for, like, insane movement speed. Yeah, let's go, for, like, sprint faster and stuff. But yeah, we dealt, we, did, we dealt with those Malachite guys. Pretty alright, I'd say. Pretty alright. Uh, where's our boss fight? Gotta be, yeah, it's all the way back there, I think. Yeah, it is. I see it. I see it. A lot of crabs about today. A lot of crabs about. They can fire at us from pretty much anywhere, so we really should try and take them out. Right, they become very annoying. What is happening? Everything is dying. Aha, blocks. Can't even hit me. Right, let's go towards our boss. I'm pretty sure we want to be out of the stage quick as possible. We haven't really got anything else here to see, I don't think. And we have two of our orbs available as well, which is brilliant. Yep, it kills everything so fast. Bosses don't exist. I find it funny that the boss obviously drops an item for being killed, but also can drop an item from dying. The amount of wisps that we have on us right now. Oh, this run is beautiful. This, this run could go on for a long time as well. We'll have to see where we go here. Maybe we'll go for the long road. Isn't that four loops though? That could take a while. Yeah, let's just kind of like beeline it for the uh, exit and try that. Um, attack speed. Full guillotine. Full guillotine. Full guillotine. Like a few of those. I think they're really valuable. When the amount with the amount of elites we're getting right now. <laughs> this is so crazy. So crazy. In fact, because of how just crazy it is, I'm gonna turn the audio down a little bit. That might be a bit more. Nice for your ears. Um, take more ukuleles. In fact, that's a little quiet now. That's a little too quiet now. Uh, put it up to 10. Put that down to like... Okay. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys. I do apologize for being too loud this whole time. I just kind of noticed just then. Uh, let's go with some ACG missile launchers. Um... Or that. I think ATG missile launchers could be really good. We are ready to go to the next stage. Let's try it out. Let's go find our boss. Ooh, hello. 
We can get Aurelia on our side. Yep, that kills you. Good, good. Let's just find our boss fight and go for it. Malachi enemies need dealing with immediately. And in brutal fashion as well. I do kind of love doing that. Firing one of these orbs directly at their face. It's pretty good. So here's our boss fight. Let's just get it done. Oh, we spawned a lot of Malachite dudes. A lot of Malachite dudes. We gotta be careful. I think we killed most of them, actually. There's still a few left. I genuinely think we killed most of them in the in the initial blast. Wow, like I died quick. Yeah, these these smaller ones are actually pretty easy. Don't take too much effort on our part. Right, still going for the fuel cell route. You want to be firing out active off pretty quick. Our active is super strong. Yeah, let's keep going for the stuns as well this way. Actually, no, I want I want more speed. I'm gonna go for the stuns, but I want more speed. There's a stun, stun, and then we'll go speed here as well. What are you firing at? My drone, really? Okay. If you want, I guess. I'm going to make the best use of your resources. Okay, we should have almost enough fuel cells now. Almost enough. Here we go. Now, now we're sprinting at the speed of sound. Okay, he's, he's just chilling over there. He's not going to make his way over here for a little while. We might end up having to leave him. I know we have the golden thing, but I really want to go for the long road achievement if I can. And we have to be quick if we're doing that because it's, it takes forever. I think you've got to do four loops. There it is. Go for the boss fight. Ooh, our speed is so nice. We're holding five of our missiles as well. This is how we do it. A lot of other bosses around here too. Okay, so we've done that now. Good, now we're just waiting around for everything else to die. Okay, we didn't need to do that last missile there, it's fine. Can I see what, what, what time we have on them? Let's use this one straight away, 17 seconds. Nice. We got that down from like 120 seconds to 17. Let's keep going though, let's get more. Let's get more. We can get it down lower than that. I'm gonna take a few more of these. A few more of these bad boys. Get another stun going. Oh my god, taking items is so risky. <laughs> so much going on. We got to the point now though where basically everything's dropping items. It's just cows everywhere. Everything is cows. Chance of stun's pretty useful here. Basically, it negates the ability for some enemies to charge at us. Which is what a lot of them are doing right now. Another item out there. Get him with a stun. 
Oh, hello. Oh, that's a celestial portal, isn't it? We don't want that yet. We not done yet, guys. We not done yet. We can hold seven missiles. We've got seven of our, do uh, of our things. Maybe we can have more than seven. Right, yep, now it's up to eight. All right, back to this stage again. Um, let's take the let's take the time to do the eggs and get a legendary. Shouldn't take us too long to find them all. Um. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Okay. We good, we good. Where are the eggs at? Okay. We've not even got the distant whaling yet. So we'll cut still a few eggs off. There's one, there's one. Okay, good. We can just literally fire this constantly. Like, we, we get so many of them back that it's literally not even a cost, really. We're still on seven, and we just use, like, five, seven of them, something like that. Go for these guys now. Got some Malachite enemies coming in. As long as it direct impacts, it basically insta-kills. It's great. Yeah, the Malachite dudes are uh, in full force right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the Ceremonial Knife. So that's going to be really, really good for us. Go for more ukuleles. Probably go for more ATG missile launches as well. Right, where's our boss at? Don't really care about white items anymore. I mean, I'll take them if they're available, but I don't need them. How many teddy bears do I have now? 18. Nice. Right. Right in the mountain. We don't really need any more, so I don't see the point. We don't need the items. I do like the risk, but... It's risk for no reason. Hello, sir. Cool. Boss, where are you? I've lost where the boss is. The items raining down everywhere. I'm not even doing anything at this point. I reckon it's underground down here. It's all right. Tougher times will save us. Um, yeah. I reckon it's down, down here. Haha, -ha, I was right. Right, just keep going with these. This will do us good. I think this is going to be all of them dead. Yes, it is. <laughs> now we just got to survive. Somehow. Keep Rose Bufflers going. These are these are actually really good. The damage reduction is insane, and we're constantly sprinting, so. Or try tips, I guess. <laughs> it's just nutty. The ukuleles are so good right now as well. Um finally take a will of the wisp, I guess. Don't want to take too many of those books. Like I said, things just start to insta-die chain reaction. Which, I mean, isn't a terrible thing, but... It's like, like, three. They get to the point where we basically don't do anything once we get too high on those. And 64%. Oh, damn, it's charging so slow. But we're up to 18 of these damn things. We're charging, like, one every 10 seconds. 
I think the maximum we can have right now is uh, is 18. Lovely. 17. Well, let's see when we go back to 18. Yep, back to 18. Basically, we get them back as fast as we can use them. Pretty much. Damn it, I didn't even get to pick that one up. There's so many items everywhere though now. Right, where's our boss? Oh my god, overloading worm. Lovely. We're starting to get to the hard enemies now. The really hard enemies. Just find our boss. Where the hell is the boss? That, that over there is a very daunting sight that I do not want to get involved with. Absolutely. Okay, there's a lot of Shrine of Mountains on this stage. Definitely don't want to touch them. Absolutely no idea where our boss is. It could be in the little bit below, I guess. I don't think spawn down there, though. Up here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see it. Jump. Didn't expect it to be all the way over here, but what the heck? Fine. Magma worm again. Almost, almost died there. We should take some infusion. I haven't taken any infusion yet. Be a good idea. Ooh, I never realized that these streams were like actual streams that you could use. Like, I could just hover in this thing. It's kind of interesting. I never knew that. And when there's nothing else to kill, the bosses do pose quite a threat. This guy here poses even more of a threat, so we'll make sure he dies pretty swiftly. And the... Okay, they should be dead. They're good. Oh, this is the scariest. Scariest thing. Malachite guys everywhere. The amount of health numbers that we're seeing right now is crazy. Wow, look at all them down there. Really shouldn't just be focusing on them. Right, I'm sorry, items, but I don't really need you right now. I'll take what I can, but otherwise, I don't care. <laughs> I'm going through my loops. Um, all right, then. That was a bit weird. Or shouldn't be too hard to find on this stage. This stage is pretty small. Malachite guys are literally everywhere now. Okay, if I... Maybe I was wrong. Okay, there's the boss, actually. I just found it now. Wow, okay. Things are getting crazy now. Really crazy. Okay, at least the bosses go down really fast. Just the Malachite guys I'm really worried about. We're killing a lot of them very quickly, so it's not like it's huge. It's a huge problem or anything. We are getting them down pretty fast. Ah, the ice! No, don't freeze them. 
Don't freeze me. The shrine in the mountains just everywhere as well. Ow, I did get frozen there. It's okay though, only briefly. As long as I don't get a bunch of Malachites spawning above my head, which I know will happen. That, 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 that's definitely how we're going to die. If we're going to die at all, it's going to be because a bunch of Malachite enemies just literally drop on my head. Infusion. Give me the HP. I guess we'll take some crowbars, because why not? But if things don't drop in this circle, I don't care. That's one. Alright, most of our abilities are actually kind of useless now. It's just our main fire and ukulele doing all of the work. All of the leg power. Yeah. So this this will be our second loop, won't it? Second loop is good loop. Um, take that. We can go now, though. So I'll be off. Thank you. Hello, sir. <laughs> You're dead. Wait, how long is this taking? Did I not press it? Oh, no, I did. My God, it just took forever. Just because he had a lot of money. Yeah. Shouldn't be too bad here. Just keep running, keep killing things. Get those shields up. Really don't know what I'm killing at the moment, but something's dying. One Blazing Stone Titan, which, in fact, is going to be really easy for us, yeah. Nice, because we've got um, so many guillotines, which I'm actually going to take another one off right now. And another one off. I don't even know what the maximum guillotine is. Is it just half HP? It might well be. Yeah, as soon as the Malachite guy gets close, we fire one of these balls at him. In fact, I'm going to... Preemptively fire one over there and try and get that guy. Might not get him. But it also might, and it did. Because they could technically count as elites. Not really seen any elites of these guys before. They seem to be pretty rare. Them guys are pushovers. I didn't kill you, are you kidding me? A direct impact you. How do you feel about that, son? It seems that I can go over fifty percent, so I'm gonna take, keep taking all the guillotines. Seem very useful for getting rid of those Malachite boys. We are absolutely speeding through at this point. Speeding through. Absolutely. Right, give me this. Here's a few of the Malachite guys. As long as we just do that and then bugger off. Should be fine. That one was way quicker. I don't know why the last one was so slow then. Maybe I killed more stuff. Right. Stage, of course, is very annoying for finding the teleporter. But luckily, not today. Not today, it's not. Oh my god. The bosses just don't even stand a chance anymore. Really? I'm really scared about the uh, the Malachite guy that was up there. This dude here. He could really, like, end our life very quickly. Luckily he's dead. And the Malachite spreads and all that sort of shit as well, so... It gets... It's pretty bad for us. Okay, this is this is hurting. We're taking quite a lot of damage. Mainly these machine gunner dudes. Is that a Malachite guy? I think it is. Yeah, he's dead though. There's different types of Malachite as well, so some of them are the ones that like stealth things and affect others and stop you from healing. And other ones are just like the high damage ones, which kind of run around. We got a good run going on. 
Double green down here. Uh, I'm going to take more of these. I think these are really strong when you have lots of them. We're constantly sprinting. It's just giving us tons of damage reduction. And I like tons of damage reduction. Sounds good to me. Basically, as soon as we get into a stage, we just ignore everything that exists and run straight to the teleporter. Don't even really care about the items, to be honest, unless they're legendary. Which we haven't seen actually a legendary drop yet, which is kind of crazy, to be honest. Kind of crazy. Would have thought we'd have seen at least one by now. And we see our boss. This stage we can get a legendary from, but it's risky. I don't really want to risk it. Surprised the first time we're seeing this stage, to be honest. Overloading worm. Overloading worm is done. That. That, I guess. Okay, how much is the chest? Let's just go and find out real quick. I know that we're slowing our progress down here, but I'd rather know. 60,000. Still quite a ways off of it. Should be fine to chill here, though. Blazing Stone Titan's dead. We're at, I mean, we're at 30, 30 grand already. We'll probably get to 60. Pretty easily. As long as we just keep chilling here. Lots of things are dying, like... Without my consent. <laughs> like, I don't even see what's killing them. Um, take another one of them. Three times Willow the Wisp. Willow the Wisp. I think it's the ATG missile launch is killing things for me. That just kind of fires whenever, doesn't it? Oh, and it'll be the, it'll be the ceremonial knives as well that I took, won't it? I kind of forgot I had that. Kinda of forgot I had that. I'm gonna take the sentient meat hook. Once we have enough money. Which is debatable actually. We're, we're not we're not as close as I thought it would be. So close, come on. So close. Hello, you you will help. In this endeavor. Good, good. Pop that open. Sentient meat hook, where is it? There you go. Pull enemies into each other. Seems like a good way to do things. Now, where we go? Okay, at least now we know we can clear stages insanely fast. It just gets more and more insane. Right. I see it. I know where we've got to go. I know where we've got to go. I love how fast we can just fly through the sky here. So good. Got it. We just wrap up one of those. Another overloading worm. Is that a single overloading worm? Oh, is it more? The single overloading worm, I have to tell you, does not really phase us, to be honest. It doesn't do well against the uh, the balls of death. As you can see. Okay, that is a Malachite big boy. I do not want to deal with him because he can teleport and he will do bad things to us. I'm just going to keep firing balls at him and hope he doesn't get close enough. He got close enough. He's dead though. But wow, yeah, that guy's scary. Another overloading worm that's just like a regular max spawn. Again, shouldn't be too big of a problem for us. 
think he's dead. No, not quite. Not even close, actually. Ooh, we are taking a lot of damage here. We do have to be careful. Might need more turtle shells. Is, is that overloading Glenn? So I killed the first one in like two seconds. I suppose I have like double damage against bosses, don't I? Or more, should I say. Go, go the wisp. ATG. At least I got the green items there. <laughs> All that matters. Back here again. There's our boss. It's gonna be like a Malachite boss this time, isn't it? This guy can kill us very quickly. You gotta be very careful about him. Yeah, I think he steals your items or something. Or, like, he uses your items against you. You got him. Did it just spawn normal Beetle Queens? Oh, it was a Glacial one. Okay. Fair enough. That's not going to be enough to kill us, though. Only on 11%. Charge faster. We need the thing that makes the area smaller, but it charges faster. That'd be so good for us right now. I think it spawned two Glacials and we just didn't get to see the second one because it spawned up top there, look. And the, these, uh, these Malachite dudes don't even stand a chance considering we've got the, um, considering we've got the thing we do, um, guillotines. Okay, I feel, I feel a bit safer now that I've just grabbed a bunch more turtle shells. Definitely helped me feel a bit safer. I just keep hearing the thingy spawning. I always forget about that guy. Malachite guys, stop spawning. Scaring me. We should be we should be getting pretty much oh I almost died there, holy crap. We should be getting almost full health on kill here. Confusion, let's go for that. Movement speed. Let's just get a ton of movement speed here. Cool. We speedy as shit now, boys. I mean we already were, but. Yeah, so now we've got 15 turtle shells. We should basically be instant refreshing that every time we get a kill. Which is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, boss, where are you? Whoa. Makes finding bosses way easier. Did I press that then? No, I didn't. Yeah. The bosses are quite literally just getting destroyed. Take another fuel cell, because why not? There's nothing they can do to us today. Chill up here. Chilling, chilling up here. Ah, how nice this is. All oh, the Malachite guys spawning. You can't do shit against me. Look at you down there, you little bitch. Look at you all down there. Can't believe how much damage this active item does, and you can charge it this quickly with uh, fuel cells. This is something that you can do in a, in a normal run without choose your items as well. It's crazy. I'm trying to fire a few of these off just to... Get a few out there, you know. We are going to have to clear that out before we jump down there. That is that is one significant problem we have. Actually, I think that just cleared it all out. I think we're good. Oh my god, another wandering vagrant. God damn it. No, I jumped down here by accident. Hey! 
No, I didn't make it up. Okay, now I can go. Now I can live in peace. I'm away. Oh my god, we're so close. I think this, will this be our third loop or fourth loop? I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost. I can't even remember whatsoever. I love just doing that. Spawning in and instantly just firing a few of those off. Blazing him, Overlord. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Didn't think so. We're going to have a lot of these guys coming in, which is going to be a problem. Because these guys do do a lot of damage. I don't think I'll need it, but I'll take a few toasters as well. I know they don't want like toasters. For some reason, I think they do. Take a few toasters. The guillotines have helped us out so much. It's kind of crazy. No Malachite guys yet, though, which is scary. Because that means they're coming. They're coming in full force. I hear him. I hear you out there. Malachite boys. Well, this is going to be like... What, what an epic finale this is going to be. Just going for the long road achievement. Probably going to get it, I hope. We almost died to the uh, scavenger dude. Oh, hello. But we didn't quite. We managed to get... Pull through. Just ease through. Need to charge this faster. Oh my god, so many things die to the ceremonial knives because they just. The ceremonial knives just stick around and wait for things to fight. Like, it's like, oh yeah, there's nothing here now, but it'll be soon, so I'll just stick around. And it does a great job. I think I pressed it. Legendary. Legendary. V hook. That was close. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I at least got another meat hook. Pull things in closer. Really good for our orb attack. We've got going on here. Um, where are we looking for our boss now? There. Okay. The boss is the scavenger. I've not had the scavenger as the actual boss before. With all the Malachite stuff that's going on, I'm pretty scared. Oh my god. Do they all drop backpacks? Or is it just the one of them? I think it's just the one of them, actually. My god. The amount of items on the floor right now is insane. I see you there. We could get another legendary here, but I really don't think at this point it's worth the risk. Staying on any stage for too long is, is pretty bad. Another scavenger here. Scavenger picked up energy drink. Can you not, dude? Yeah, only only one backpack per stage by the looks of things. Am I actually gonna get to pick up any of this stuff? Another scavenger up there. Yeah, definitely only one backpack per stage. I mean I can kinda get that though. On a normal run that'd be really overpowered. Got him. What are you? Uh, you're just a normal dude. Normal Elder Lemarian. Ow. Okay. Let's take care of the riffraff and then collect some of these items. We don't actually need to really, but I feel like I should. At least the green ones. And take a few ATGs. Good. 
I think that'll do us. I think we'll just leave with with uh, with the ATGs. I'm not going to bother with all the Y items. There's too many. It'll take me forever. Okay. We're back again. A horrible stage that could kill us. Every time I reach this stage, it just scares me. Right. Can we see our boss fight anywhere from here? Yes, we can. You can see the teleporter itself. This is a very quiet stage so far. There's like one enemy and that's it. Nice. Another overloading worm. That seems like four of them this time. Which is interesting. Okay, these guys, as um, as Malachites, will definitely kill us. But they have to go right now. In fact, they could still kill us because they, they leave stuff around on the floor when they die. Yeah, that's how worms gone. Hello, sir. Very scared right now. I think this teleporter is going to be the scariest thing ever. ATG missile launcher has got to the point now where it should be able to one-shot a lot of things. Yeah, it can, yeah. Just stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty much like saying complete fuck it to every item and just taking whatever I want now because even if it fucks up the game and makes it super easy, it's already at that point, isn't it? still things that can kill us, obviously, but we're at the point now where, like, we can kill everything super, super quick. Like, things are just spawning in and dying at this point. I'm just like, ATG! 15! We have 15 of these, goddamn. Look at that. I didn't even, didn't even shoot him. Didn't even shoot him. Just had no chance, boy. No chance. I've not had to actually shoot anything properly in a while. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. You snuck in, didn't you? And you... Oh, my God. Didn't even get a chance. Away we go. Okay. This is our last loop, I think. I think. God, this is a bit long video. Longer than expected, but it's fun. Gotta do the long road sometime. There we go. We did it. Complete 20 stages a single run. We finally completed it. Hey ho. Away we go. The ceremonial firing of 19 plasma beams. One. Two. Three. We can't even run out, I don't think. I don't think it's physically possible that we run out. What's all these balls that everything explodes into at the moment? It seems to be happening a lot and I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's physically possible that we've run out of these things. Let's try, though. If we can run out, we end the video. Right, we're getting down there. This is a good way to complete the stage, really. Chill up here and do this. Easy. Even things behind us get killed by it. Okay, we're down to three. Two. One. Fire. One. And there we go. We actually, we actually reached cooldown on this thing. What a beautiful run. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's sacrifice ourselves to the gods. Actually, I've never killed an overloader in one wandering vagrant. I kind of want to kill it. Didn't take long. It's dead now. And... Oh, here we go! Can we actually die to this? Ooh, how far out can we get? Again, never really tried this before either. I don't think we can die to this, you know.
Doesn't seem to be doing much damage to us. Let's see, though. How many times do we have to fall off the map before we die? Is that a scavenger pack there as well? When did that happen? When did I kill a scavenger? Who knows? Okay, so we've lost all our shields now. Okay, I'm not taking damage. Is that because of teddy bear? Okay, finally took some damage. Yeah, I think teddy bear's blocking the damage. Oh my god. It's going to take so long for us to die. Let's go run into the, these little things here. <laughs> we just absorb it. It's taking us so long to kill ourselves here. Oh my god, we're so strong. Let me die. <laughs> Let's walk it. Let's walk into one of them. Who out of the damage protection? No, nope, that see, still, still seems to be not really working, does it? Oh no! I accidentally fired once, and this is what happened. I fired once, and it was a full shield, full hell. My God, this run will never end. Let me die, please. <laughs> Let me die. Oh, my God. I'm not even doing anything. I think I've got to run away from the enemies for a bit. So that I stop shooting at them. I do like how far out we can get over here, though. Woo! That won't let me go way further than before. Right. Now let's sit and wait. There we go. That'll, that'll just about do it. Nope, it won't. There we go. Well, the long road finally complete after all this time. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it was a longer video, but I thought this would be a cool farewell to the game, at least for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, and I'll see you guys in the next one.